We'll continue our overview of Java, turning our attention to key functional programming concepts and features, starting with composing functions. The modern Java features we'll be talking about in this lesson were added in Java 8 and expanded in subsequent releases. This part of the lesson will focus on how computations in modern Java are treated as evaluating math functions that can be composed together to form a pipeline of computations. We'll illustrate function composition using a modern Java Streams example that's available at the link at the bottom of the slide below. Java functional programming has its roots in a formalism known as lambda calculus. In lambda calculus, computations are treated as evaluating math functions. As I'm sure you remember from your early exposure to math functions, probably in elementary school, a function defines a relationship between an independent variable x and some dependent variable f of x, which is the output of applying the function f to the input value x. Ideally, each function in a functional programming model is pure. And what that means is its return value is the same for the same arguments. In other words, there's no reading of a shared mutable state and its evaluation has no side effects, meaning that there's no writing to shared mutable state. Here's a method that we'll use as an example math function in our first case study in this lesson. This is prime method takes a parameter n and checks to see whether it's a prime number. A prime number is a natural number greater than one that's not the product of two smaller natural numbers. This is prime pure function returns zero if its parameter n is prime or the smallest factor if n is not prime. In functional programming languages such as Java, functions can be composed. In other words, the output of one function serves as the input to the next function. We'll be taking a look at a case study example, EX1, which will generate and check count positive odd random numbers and print which are prime and which aren't. We'll be using modern Java streams to demonstrate how the functions are composed. A stream is a pipeline of operations that can be used to process a sequence of elements that flow through the stream. We'll be looking at streams in more detail later. This is just to get us started with the introductory case study. This particular example will use the random class and the ints method on the random class to generate a stream of random integer values from one up to integer max value, meaning that they could be large or small within that range. We'll then connect that output of random numbers to the filter intermediate operation in streams. And filter is used to decide whether or not the element should continue to the next stage in the pipeline. In this case, we're going to be using the is odd method reference to determine whether the value that was generated randomly is odd or even. If it's odd, we'll let it continue. If it's even, we're going to prevent it from continuing because, of course, even numbers couldn't possibly be prime. The next stage in the stream is the map to obj intermediate operation. This is used to perform some function to make some check or some change to the value that's flowing through the stream. In this case, we're going to call the check if prime method reference, which is used to determine which numbers are prime, and it will return a prime result indicating whether it was prime, in which case the value will be zero, or the smallest factor if it was deemed to not be prime. And this comes back in something called a record, which is a relatively new Java data type that can be used for pure data values. The next stage in the stream is the limit intermediate operation. And we use this to only consider count numbers. So we're going to consider the first count odd numbers. So limit is an example of what's called a short circuiting operation. Once the limit has been reached, then the stream will stop dealing with the values that come after that. The final operation in this stream is the for each terminal operation. A terminal operation is used to do two things. It starts the whole stream processing in motion, and it's also in this case used to have a side effect which will print the results. 
In other words, print out whether the numbers that flowed through the stream up to this point were prime or not prime. Notice how Java streams can be used to apply the so-called fluent interface pattern that chains method calls together by connecting outputs of one function to the input of the next function and so on throughout the pipeline in the stream. So that's the end of the overview of our first discussion in the context of key functional programming concepts and features, which focused on composing together functions, all of which were pure functions in this particular example.